All right, so you guys, this is uh, Love and Hip Hop Hollywood season two. This is episode nine. Again, I'm rolling these motherfuckers out today. Um, so we got Milan and Amber. Um, well, fuck y'all have already watched it, so I don't think I need to go into explicit detail. I'll, I'll only go into detail about shit that I just really want to fucking talk about. Hopefully, that's cool with y'all. If not, don't care because it's happening any fucking way. So. <clears throat> I was shocked to see that they had a mature conversation and that's actually how a lot of conversations should go in general it's just like y'all ain't gotta sit here yell and scream but y'all can sit here and talk like two civilized fucking adults I will say I, I shit <clears throat> Milan hit her with the whole you know cause I've been taking care of him you know and she was like oh well he been taking care of me maybe you have been paying my rent like I paid your rent twice well, thank you. I was like, ooh, all right. Because <laughs> I'm sick. Because in essence, I'm like, well, he throwing jazz. But she was just like, she was being a grateful whole like, well, shit, thank you, shit. You didn't pay my rent. Help the, help the bitch out. I was happy. I was happy. They was mature about the shit. Okay. What the fuck else? And she even said that she's not mad that uh, uh, Miles is gay. She's more or less mad that, you know, I guess leaving, like, <clears throat> present, like, Presenting himself as if there was still a chance and you know, she said that well I was you know that she was you know Waiting holding out hope but my whole thing that reminds me of that Monica song. Um What was it? Hurts the most, you know, you know <clears throat> pretty much when she said uh, I, I, uh I, <laughs> I Thought for sure you would always wait for me. That was I had to th say it in my head But it was just like, you know real quick advice to any fucking body Time waits for nobody and neither shall you live your motherfucking life if it is meant for you to be with that person Trust me when I say y Your role and that person's role will cross yet again if it is truly meant and if y'all cross and What are y'all with somebody then it is what the fuck it is But <clears throat> you can't sit here and slow your life down for some somebody or you can't do that You will miss out on many blessings Okay, when I say I'm talking about blood, you will miss out on blessings because you are trying to stay in one place when you need to be moving on to your next damn season. That's all I got to say about that. Moving on, Omarion and Willie, you know, uh, Willie whole thing is uh, he feels that Omar will be able to help him since Omarion went through the down period that he's going through. And, you know, Omarion hit with some real shit. It's like, shit, everybody going to struggle. And you go appreciate it when you reach the top. And from what he was saying, he went a whole 10 year period without a number one single, but he came back. <clears throat> so it's fucking possible, but you got to put it to work. And uh, what else? So now we got Monice and Rich. And pretty much, Rich just wants her to talk to her fucking mother. You know, because it's just like he feels that, you know, she on some real grimy shit the way that she, you know, is coming off and coming at her daughter. And his, his whole thing is you need to address her. And Moniz breaks down, and again, like she literally turns into a child all over again. And again, I'm gonna keep saying it. My boot thing need to get some gals, and you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. That's, that's all I'm saying. I'm just saying. All right, so Amber meets with Moniz and Tierra to tell them her side of the story or her circumstances of events that have happened. And, um,. All I'm gonna say is that. <laughs> Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm really... She says that she's ready to confront me, but that ain't the part I want to talk about. This. <laughs> Woo, okay, she says. I hate being a weak bitch. I'm sorry, I hate being in the weak bitch category because that ain't me. Um. Were you not the one um, rolling around in white people grass, kicking your feet? Because uh, you found out that, uh, you know, he wasn't the father. I'm just trying to figure out, you you know, doing all this hoop hopping and crying and shit. <clears throat> Seven whole nights, not a word from him. Like, I'm just trying to figure out, but you ain't in the weak bitch. <laughs> okay. Moving fuck on Willie and Shonda. Willie lies to Shonda, uh, saying that he is out of his deal, but that is only because he's trying to keep her from wor worrying even more. We're going to see how this little white lie turns out. And Rich Monisa Marla. So Rich decides to play mediator. And um, <clears throat> all Monisa wanted to know is Did you say these two things to these two men? Got the answer. And um, Marla's whole thing is. 
she's uh, Monice's biggest supporter, and she's not. She's not anti Monique. She's not trying to have Cameron taken away from her. Now she didn't say this to her, for, to my understanding, but this was said in the confessionals that um, hopefully um, <clears throat> her doing what she's doing, or even pushing for um, Fizz to take her to court, will inspire her to um, want to be a better mother. And, you know, Monique's whole thing is, you know, even though we don't know the background, Monique did say <clears throat> she wanted to do things differently than how her mother did things. Because apparently there was issues between her, uh, Monique's mother and father. So Monique, I'm not Monique, Marla just up and left. Went and got hooked up, hermsed up, shacking up with somebody that was married to this individual. And that was it. So Monique's whole thing is, you know, she's doing things differently. But her main folk, I'm not going to say... I am assuming her main focus is ensuring that she has a good working relationship with the father for the sake of the child. But she's trying to live her own life and she does not want either one of her parents involved. I can't be mad about that. So we'll see what else happens. So uh, we have <clears throat> Tierra Marie, Marie going to get lipo and uh Hazel and Nikki, they are both there with her and, you know, she's doing it for um, whatever reason she has, but they have the blazer thing coming up. So Hazel last night, okay, well, when is that going down? It was just like, oh, in like the next two or three weeks. And Hazel's just like, because <clears throat> Hazel's low key admitted she's had lipo. And we, we already know that, you know, Plastique didn't have work done. So, you know, Tamar Braxton want to be sister on the side. So, we already know she has. So, um, <clears throat> Hazel's whole thing is, okay, she's never had surgery. So, she does, she does not know the pain. And she's not going to be ready come <clears throat> that timeline. You know, Plastique's whole thing is, you know, uh, well, everybody responds to things differently, which is true. But, you know, on some real shit here, when I had a lateral release on, like, I had it on both knees. When I had it on my first one, on my very fucking first one, never, have I ever been cut open? I've never had surgery, per se. You know, I've had little incidents and whatnot as a kid, but I've never had surgery. That shit derailed the fuck out of me. I had cotton mouth like a motherfucker, amongst other things. And trying to sit here and wobble my ass around, <laughs> shit was not cool at all. But... It took me a hot minute to fucking get the fuck over that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Second time around, it was still bad. But because I had already been there, it was a little bit easier the second time around. But still, surgery's fucking surgery. And I had two weeks to just lay on my ass. Not to mention having to go right back to work thereafter. But still have a little bit of, you know, recovery time. So, But whatever. Uh, Plastique and I, Hazel decided that they wanted to uh, wager. And um, Hazel feels that uh, ooh, excuse me. That she's not gonna fucking be ready when the time comes because she's gonna be all nice and puffy and swelled up. We'll see. And Willie, now I, I've been rocking with Willie, but that, he go up to screw face. I'm not gonna go too much in detail. I'm not gonna get my blood pressure worked up right now. But he go up in there, come at this man left in the motherfucker. Talking about some, I'm calling you ain't answer this and the third, bro. This ain't your motherfucking manager. <clears throat> this is your friend. He is sitting here assisting you, but he ain't got no ties to you. Came at this boy completely motherfucking left. I wasn't here for it. But Screwface whole thing is if if we're doing a client manager type of deal, then I can work some shit for you. Other than that, I can't do shit for you. They agree on it, and now uh, you know that's his manager. Now he's like, all right, I had this motherfucker in twenty four hours. We gonna see how this gonna play out, but dun 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 dun. dun. He about to sit here, Screwface is about to sit here and drop a bomb on motherfucking Sean. And whoo, whoo. I already know what's gonna happen. She's gonna go back to the pole boat. I'll be right back. So, Hazel has a uh, company, a business, which I was about to be like, oh my gosh, another one of these. But I actually like her uh, her idea. It's pretty much a um, business, pretty much promoting other um, females' business. So, pretty much as a promoter, but I like that. You know, she's trying to build a solidarity and, you know, that unity fucking outstanding and she has a meeting with princess because princess has a swimsuit lot which yeah okay and she's going to help her um 
you know, put some shit together. And her whole thing is just because you and uh, Tierra beefing don't mean uh, that's finna affect my coinage and our other shit. And those are real shit. I mean, I do feel the way. It's like, shit, I can be friends with two people that don't fucking like each other. I can do that. It's just I'm not gonna sit here and play informant. Now, depending on how badly you done fucked over my dude or my girl, I might not be able to say shit to you. But at the same exact time, when when the smoke clears, business is just business. It's just that. And Shonda pops up to take her boo out to uh, lunch to, you know, um, how can I say, celebrate the good news. Why the fuck y'all ain't celebrate when y'all was out with the children? And, you know, School Ray pretty much is like, you know, spilled the tea. He's like, I feel like he was going to swing on me. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And, like, yeah, try to get my, like, because he ain't out of the contract. Yeah, yeah, all this shit. She's like, oh, really? And he's like, well, he ain't still, you can go see him. No, I don't know what's well, I can bring him in here. No, 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 no. And it's like, she just ran. She running, running. I think she about to run back to that motherfucking pole. We'll see. All right. Hmm. I'm I'm known for eating some on fucking camera. I was eating those damn sunflowers. He's eating shit. What the fuck? Okay, so now we got Tierra Plastique and their uh, Hazel. So uh, Tierra's not bouncing back as fast as uh, she wants to now. Even though it seems like Plastique is, um, I guess you can say she's um, concerned about Tierra. She's more concerned about her money. Talking about the inventing one, <laughs> ooh shit, whatnot, and. Um, Hazel was asking questions. It's like, what about this and that and this and that and this and that? Because she does promote events and she's kind of looking like, neither one of you hoes know what the fuck y'all asses is doing. So they leave Plastique and Hazel. And Hazel pretty much is like, All right, what it is, what it do. And it's hard for me to believe that Nikki has never thrown an event. Highly fucking doubt that. Yet yeah, your mama owns uh, how many fucking clubs and shit? Miss me. Miss me. But Hazel's just like I'll take on that effort because individually y'all got y'all own shit. It's just the collaborative thing, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring Princess Love along, and you got her C trying to do you know be, be that little shit. And <laughs> Hazel made so much fucking sense. She was like, uh, last year, Tierra didn't give a fuck when it came to me and Bird. She was willing to do the business because that's just what it was was business didn't care about my personal relationship with him so why should i care about her personal relationship with princess love because it's just that business she finna let her feelings get um in between them making their coin then she's just a bit of bitch or some shit like that i ain't quoting her directly i'm just paraphrasing i can feel on that <clears throat> make your money again what's good for the goose is good for the gander will is finally out his contract he goes home to tell uh his wife but it looked like she had, uh, like, as my sister Squeaky Jones has said to me, like, she had them heels already in the cut. Like, you can call this bitch Super Ho. She's a motherfucking superwoman. She had a change of clothes already in the motherfucking car. Hell, she probably went in the motherfucking phone booth and changed into that shit, I'm just saying. But she already on the pole, ready, already, already on the pole, ready. So, yeah, Alright. So, we're at the very end. The whole shit with, um, Miles and uh, Amber. Long story short, they beat up. She's still being natural. But she tells him that she's not mad at him being in love. They still friends. She's just not fucking with him right now. That's it. That's all. Fuck all that extra shit. See y'all in the next video.